if you're planning to buy a portable generator uh, here is the review of what I have is a rigid 5700 running watts and 7125 starting watts this one is powered by Yamaha engine and I had it for over six years so this is a review I have not done on my channel yet so if you are interested in knowing how to set up a generator and hook up uh, you can watch my videos click on the like button and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel so in this video I'm going to show you the features that I have on this rigid generator and this wattage 5700 watts is quite good for my usage it, it can run my fridge and um, half of the house so I have power uh, to the um, electrical outlets uh, the lights work the fans work and the furnace so I have connected both my furnace in the house to this um, the ones that are not going to be powered with this one uh, is going to be the two uh, air conditioner outside air conditioner units and also the ones that um, is like the dryer I have an electric dryer and uh, uh, and the uh, I also have gas heater so the water heater is fine too and it doesn't take electricity either way so but my blower motor in the house which is for winter it, it still can function with the gas heat in there either way so this one has the Yamaha motor um, and it so if you search for it uh, you will find that these units have a really good alternator and I will show you what that means here is the rigid alternator and see the size of it it's very heavy this unit is almost 180 pounds and uh, you need at least two, two people to even pull down this generator after you buy it and I bought it at Home Depot uh, from your truck or from my SUV I had to um, get my wife to to help pulling it down so that being said the handle is a unique handle here so this lays flat and the way you do it is you pull the the handle down using this one and that will let the handle sit so you can store it with the handle down it's a pretty good design and then once you pull it out it locks right there and then these two wheels are no flat wheels so basically they don't have any air in it so it's basically they have um, put uh, some uh, material in there so that it didn't never gets flat so that's a good thing and then you can tilt it while moving and I put my feet here and I can tilt it and then I can move easily by balancing it so that being said why did I buy this unit I had a different unit and that though that was a 3200 uh, running watts but the my electronic was not running well on that so I did some research and these units gave me less than 4 THD and if you um, are not familiar with it check the THD and see how the distortion is if it's more than 6 on the THD scale you don't want to use it for home electronics or any electronics for this matter so this one has um, a nice output I will show you when I start it up and it has the 120 volt four outlets on those and those are GFCI outlets so you don't have to worry about um, in the rain or somewhere if you uh, have water or something um, it will trip and then I don't use the the 120 volt I use the 240 volt and I'll show you how I connected it in another video so I use this to connect the generator to my um, to my electrical box and um, I will show you what I did in another video 
so click on and like my video and uh, subscribe to my channel and you'll see more videos on how to maintain this and how to set up your connection to your house this one has um, the circuit breakers so if you if you have uh, issues with uh, the um, circuits on the GFCI you can just uh, press these and and they will um, reset and these are the circuit breakers for the uh, 240 volts so once I um, fill the tank the only thing missing on this one is a gauge of how much gasoline in, in there so once you fill this up um, and then to start it you have to push the choke right here and I will push this to start which is the choke position and it has a pull start and before I do that I want to make sure that the gas knob it has a, uh, a full uh, on and off valve which is very good and once you turn it on and I'm going to pull it up and see So what I did is I had drained most of the the um, gas out before I store it and uh, what I did was I um, opened this one up and took uh, this line out and uh, before I store it I do run it with to empty the tank as well as any gasoline in there so that you don't have any gasoline left over in the carburetor. If you have any comments or questions on this generator, uh, you can uh, write your comments um, on this video and uh, I will respond to that. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see the other videos on how I hook it up.